The following is presented by Craftsy. Explore more innovative photo techniques with Nicole D'Alessio at Craftsy.com. Hi, I'm Nicole D'Alessio and I'm going to show you how to use the Content Aware Fill Tool in order to clean up a photo using Adobe Photoshop. So I'm going to be looking for some clean negative space and I'm going to be going to go in little sections and get rid of little imperfections in the sand or taking out the wispy clouds in the sky so that I can have more of solid color. So I'm working on the background copy of my photo and I'm going to start by getting the lasso tool and going around and looking for places that I want to get rid of. So I've got this little tiny cloud here and it works best if you work in smaller sections. You're going to have better results. And so I've made the selection. Then I'm going to do Edit, Fill, and Content Aware. And the cloud disappeared. Command D to deselect. And I will do more of this little by little. And repeating the process. Command D and going on to a new section. Edit, Fill, Content Aware, and press OK. Command D. Now, as I work down towards the area where the colors change, you may have problems with the things mixing up. So for example, if I take a section here and I try to fill it in, it makes a, a problem here in my horizon and I don't want that. So I'm going to step backwards and deselect. So one strategy when you're working with different areas is to go ahead and temporarily create a layer mask and get rid of most of the rest of the photo. So I'm applying a layer mask and then I'm just going to take a solid black brush and make it really large. And then I can just mask out I'm going to turn off this background on the bottom so I can see what I'm doing and just mask out most of it. And I can use the bracket tools to make my brush a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose the white just to kind of paint back in in a section that I didn't mean to do. And I can toggle back and forth as I need to. And now I'm going to go back to my lasso tool and continue on. And you're going to get better results if you do smaller sections at a time. And you just keep repeating this pattern, taking your time as you go. Make sure that you're not on the layer mask but on the image itself. So now I'm pretty happy with the middle section of the photo where I've gotten rid of the clouds. So I can go ahead and get rid of my layer mask. I'm going to go over here to the layer and go ahead and hold and throw my layer mask away into the trash. And I've got my original photo back. The next part I'm going to do is do the same exact process, but I'm going to do the sand area now. So once again, I'll apply, I'll apply a new layer mask and I'm going to brush away the top area of the photograph. And I'll go back to my selection tools, making sure that I'm on the photo again. And I will continue to work in small sections to get rid of the little areas in the sand that I want to remove. So now I'm done with the sand area as well. So I'm going to go ahead and once again get rid of my layer mask. I'm going to click and drag that into the trash, press delete, and now I'm done with a completely cleaned up photograph. So for more great tips like this, be sure to check out my class on Craftsy.com.